Barack Obama has been elected President of the United States. He won't actually take office until January of 2009, but there, I wanted to make this video to talk to you about some of the changes that might occur early in his presidency about IRS problems and how the IRS actually collects money from delinquent taxpayers. Although President-elect Obama's campaign promise was that actually there would be a tax cut for over 95% of Americans making $250,000 or less, that's not what we're talking about here. What we're actually talking about here is what is the IRS likely to do about collect increasing collections, particularly in the face of an uncertain economy and a rising deficit. In my opinion, the federal government is very likely to go on a hiring uh, rampage of sorts. They've actually done this in the area of border control and in the uh, Transportation Safety Administration. We've all seen all those people in the airports wearing the white shirts. Well, it's very likely that the IRS is going to increase their hiring dra dramatically considering the fact that there are statistics that show that for every dollar paid to an IRS employee, that employee accounts for roughly $50 in collections. So I think it's very likely that the IRS will dramatically increase their ability or their workforce and their ability to collect delinquent taxes. It's not it's hard to predict the difference between Republican administrations and Democratic uh, administrations as far as they're going to handle delinquent taxpayers. But I've been through several of these administration changes, these power changes, through the course of my career. And I have a theory that, that goes something like this. Republicans tend to lower taxes for all of us, but they do their utmost to collect every single dime of that revenue. So you're not going to get a lot of consideration or you're not going to have a lot of sympathy coming out of IRS employees during a Republican administration. On the other hand, my theory about Democrats is they have a tendency to raise taxes for everyone since social programs and the good of you know, society is actually at their best interest. And I'm not making any characterizations or judgments about that. But Democrats tend to stand for bigger government and higher revenues and higher taxes. But then they tend to do a little bit less in the form of collecting those taxes. I actually think what we're going to be facing here is a paradigm shift. It's going to be a real change. What we're going to have here is we're going to have a president who believes in bigger government and believes in spreading the wealth around, but he's also going to do a whole lot more to collect that wealth than any uh, recent president has done. What does the president have to do with the collection of taxes? Well, they actually uh, appoint the secretary of the treasury to their, uh, to their cabinet and the, um, the head of the IRS. So it's very likely that under an Obama administration that collections will continue to increase as we've seen here in the Bush administration and that the the problem of owing taxes is going to become one that's harder and harder to deal with on the taxpayer level. If you'd like some more information about me, my name is Darren Misch by the way, I never did actually introduce myself, uh, or my firm, you can get more information at my website which is found at getirshelp.com or you can feel free to give us a call toll free at 888-438-6474. That's 888 Get, get Mish. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it.